Hello and welcome to the Outdoor Appliance Store. I'm Chef Ahmed and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a grilled panzanella salad. Traditional Italian salad, you have grilled bread, I'm also going to do some grilled zucchini and roasted grape tomatoes. The idea with this salad, grill everything except the lettuce. So it's kind of a way to kind of upgrade your, you know, same old chopped, Caesar, those kind of salads. We're going to do something completely different today. So I have sourdough, uh, San Francisco sourdough bread, I have some zucchini, grape tomatoes, basil, watercress, arugula, and a little bit of feta cheese. And I'm just gonna make a simple vinaigrette in the bowl once we get started with the salad. It's just gonna be a little bit of champagne vinegar and olive oil just to, what we're gonna do is soak the bread in that and that's gonna kind of soak up the flavor of that. Then we're gonna toss all the ingredients. So to get started, I've cut the zucchini in half, salted it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm also gonna do a little bit of fresh basil julienne, which is gonna go on the base of the salad just to give it a little bit of fresh herb. So I'm just gonna go ahead and julienne a little bit of that. All right. Then once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and put that in the bowl. So you got kind of your base started, so that once your items are grilled, you're gonna to wanna to go directly from the grill and start building your salad in the bowl. So the next step, we're gonna start grilling our items. So I have a little wire rack here that's perforated, so that's gonna allow me to roast our grape tomatoes. Since they're so small, you don't wanna put them directly on the grill. Zucchini, we're gonna put them on the grill at an angle, so we can kind of get that X marking. So here, we have the infrared sear zone. And this is gonna allow us to get that high direct heat on the grape tomatoes, get a nice sear, caramelization, and char on them. And I have the zucchini that's cooking on the traditional grates here. And I'm also gonna put the bread on. Now with the bread, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn. You wanna get that nice kind of grill flavor. You do wanna get the grill marks on it. Um, the grape tomato zucchini is gonna take a little bit longer, but the bread definitely keep an eye on. You just wanna get a nice, good color and toast on the bread. So we're gonna allow this to cook now, and then when it's done, we're gonna go ahead and start building our salad. All right, so you want to get your zucchini grilled, not completely to where it's soggy or mushy. You still want it to be firm so it holds up. So get the good color, the flavor of the grill, all of that going. And then now we're going to go ahead and cut it for our salad. So first you're going to cut it down lengthwise. And then you're just going to take it down, cut it about a quarter inch to half inch pieces. And you still want them to be warm when you build your salad. Um, kind of the importance of with salads is having balances of texture, of warmth, of hot and cold, sweet and uh, bitter or sour. So whenever you're building a salad, you don't want to building a salad, you don't want it to be too soft or too sweet. You want to make sure that you have balance. So with this grilled bread, is going to add a nice texture of crispiness to the salad, so it's not soggy or mushy. So now you're just going to take your bread. When you hear that crunch, that's what you want to hear. Is nice crunchy bread. So that's why sourdough is a good bread to use for this because it'll hold up nice to the vinaigrette. So you're just going to dice into about inch pieces. Then you're gonna drop that into your bowl as well. Let that vinaigrette start to soak up along with the zucchini. All right, so once you got your bread in there, the next step, we're gonna add our roasted tomatoes. So this is what you're looking for, your roasted tomatoes. You wanna to be nice, charred, bring that nice grilled flavor to the salad. And then today I'm using two green lettuces so when you think about lettuce and lettuces that you're going to use, you want to have dark green lettuces. That means more nutrients, more flavor um, than just your regular iceberg or romaine. So today I have arugula and I also have watercress. Uh, the arugula will bring a little bit of lemon, lemonness and pepperness and the watercress will bring a little bit of bitterness and that's going to be the base for the salad. So now that your bread has soaked up all of your vinaigrette, you're just going to toss it. Make sure you gently toss it because the biggest mistake you can make building a salad is to over toss it and to basically bruise the lettuce. If you just wanna just mix it just enough to coat it, and then you're gonna start piling in the center. The important is just pile in the center, build a mound, think about a mountain or a mound or a castle that you're building, pile in the center, let everything cascade down the sides. And then the last step, just a little bit of crumbled feta cheese over top. And this is your grilled sourdough panzanella salad right here. All right. So this skin is ready to go. Serve it right immediately. You want to serve it while everything's still warm before your lettuce starts to wilt. So this has been the Outdoor Appliance Store. If you have any questions about the recipe or you need information about the Alfresco grill we were cooking on today, please click the link below in the bio. Um, I'm Chef Ahmed, and thank you. I'll see you next time. <music>